Hi everyone, it's Sandy. Thank you for joining me here on my channel, Septera 18. I have here the We Are Memory Keepers envelope punch board and the punch board has been around for quite some time so there are a lot of uh, videos and tutorials out there uh, to show you how to make these envelopes using the punch board um, but I also want to show you how to make these as well uh, in my video and the envelopes I'm going to make are for your 3x4 size inserts so they're perfect for your 3x4 size project life cards, uh, journaling cards or if you are into card making and you're making 3x4 uh, greeting cards these will fit in here perfectly. I also made uh, a booklet uh, in a 3x4 size and that all will also fit in one of these envelopes so I thought I'd show you how to put one of these together and I'm also going to show you how you could also make a coin envelope with the same size envelope and we're just going to alter it to create a coin envelope um, as well so I'll make these two and uh, show you how to put these together and all you need is a six by six paper so this is a, a great video if you're new to uh, paper crafting and you've just purchased your envelope punch board by We Are Memory Keepers and so I just thought I'll, I'll do a step-by-step -step and show you how to make one. Uh, so with the punch board, it comes with a scoring tool and a measuring guide for all the different size envelopes that you can make, as well as it shows you what size papers are to, uh, to cut and to size, and then where to place your paper on the scoring um, measurements to create your envelope so in this case we're going to make a envelope to fit a three by four size so over here is where you punch your to punch your um, markings and at the back here we say another um, little another part here where you can punch and do corner around your corners on this side so there are two uh, spots here to punch so um, when you look at your punch board, we're going to look at the card size and we are going to go down the sizes and we'll look for a 3 by 4 size card, which will be this one here. So there over here is a 3 by 4 size and then we will go across there and it will tell you the paper size you'll need and you'll need a 6 by 6 size paper. And when you go across over here, it will tell you where to place your paper on the score line. So up here are your inches and along down here are your centimeters in measurements. But we're going to use the uh, inches in size. So I'll make the envelope. So I have here uh, my six by six paper. I'm just gonna bring this down a bit so you can see. <clears throat> so what we're going to do here, it tells you here, uh, you want to line your paper on the 2 and 5 eighth of an inch. So if you look across here, there's your 2 inch mark and then we'll come across and you'll see the 5 eighth of an inch. So we are going to line the paper on the 2 and 5 eighth of an inch, which is that little mark there. So I've got the left side of your paper, we'll slide your paper in and make sure it it's right up along the edge there and we'll bring it across to the five, uh, two and five eighth. I'll just bring it up just in case so you can see there it's on the two and five eighth. And we are going to now punch, punch, press that down and we're going to score all the way down. You'll see a score line here. You want to bring your scoring tool underneath and just run it down and it should get you down to that score indentation. And we will now turn the paper around and we're going to line this little notch here along that score line we had just done. So placing that along that score line. We don't need to follow the guide up here anymore. We're going to use the score line as our guide. So once you've got that little notch on that score line, we can go ahead and punch that again. Do another score line again like we had done and just run it all the way down. Turn your paper around again. Line that on that score line we had just um, done. Punch that down. Score. Turn. Punch. 
and one more score line and that should now give us four score lines and your paper should look like this i will do it again uh, for the coin envelope so if you missed out how i've done this i will do it again because um, it's the same way we're just going to fold your paper differently so now we've got the oops now we've got all of that done let's corner around these four corners so we're going to turn your envelope punch board to the back here we'll just bring that in and slide that in and punch you can see now it's got that corner round corner just do that to all four sides And then you have these two uh, little uh, smaller triangle size. We're going to fold them in so we can now assemble the paper to create the envelope. So we'll press that down, put this side in. And then the bottom one here is to close it up to make your envelope. And then what we're going to do now, we can uh, seal this off. And what we'll do, I'm just going to grab some glue. You can use a tape runner or double-sided tape. And we're just going to glue along the edge here. Just don't glue up here because then it will glue to the back of your envelope. Or you could just glue along this side as your guide. Or your use your um, preferred adhesive. So I'll just do that there. We can go over here, so just not all the way to the top. I'll just close that up and then you can bring that down and now it's you've got yourself an envelope that should now fit your three by four note card which will fit in here oops let's fix that or your three by four note cards fitting there very very cute and just such a simple way to make an envelope too if you've got the punch board and alternately what you could do here you could change that if you don't want to have that little bit uh, sticking up you can create it so that it looks like that and all you do here is you can either fold that tip to the back and just fold that in and then you can glue that down or you can just cut that off just with a pair of scissors as straight as you can and they'll just give you a more a different sort of a look there if you don't want that sort of a look and then uh, that's it for the three by four size envelope and now to make the coin envelope we'll do the same you need a six by six paper same measurements and same way the way we score and punch so on the left side, we're going to line the left side of your paper on the 2 and 5 eighths of an inch. And we'll punch first. We're going to score. Turn that around. Following the guide of that score line with that notch along the score line. And making sure the paper is right up back. Punch that down. Score just keep repeating the same way and <clears throat> you can corner around the actually this part we don't need to corner around the corners for this part <coughs> We'll do first of all instead of going this way as we had done for the envelope we're going to go this way with the long piece uh, for your envelope <coughs> sorry about that i just had a bit of a slight cough and i didn't want to keep coughing in front of the camera um so as we were with the envelope so we are facing it with the <coughs> uh the sort of the score lines with the paper long ways We'll fold these to longer side of the um, the long the larger size triangle, 
we're going to fold them both in that way <clears throat> and then what we're going to do with this part here we're just going to slightly cut a little bit of this off but not too much you want to still be able to overlap this piece on top of this piece here so we just want to cut about just about that much and just cutting it straight up you can use a pair of scissors or your trimmer so I'm just going to use my trimmer <clears throat> try and cut it as straight as I can and we only want a little bit off so you can see it's just a tiny bit and you'll see what I mean when I turn it over so you want to still be able to overlap it over the back piece and then <clears throat> with these two pieces, you want to do it exactly the same. We just want to uh, trim off just a little bit. So when you fold this up, you want to just trim off that much because if you go too far down, it will end up uh, down here. You want it so that it will still be enough to fold over above the part where the paper crosses over. <clears throat> so I'm just going to do the same thing, just a little trim. So you can see now it will still fold over and it will cover that part and then we'll do the same for the top part <clears throat> and in this part it doesn't matter which side you want your top or your bottom so i've done that so now when you fold them down it will look like a coin envelope i mean you've still got room here i can actually go up a little bit more which i might just trim this part a little bit <clears throat> yeah that's a little bit better so that looks like that and then you want a couple of little circles for your closure and a couple of brads you could use an eyelet if you like uh, if you have some eyelets you can um, punch your eyelets through the top and bottom if you want so I'm just going to take a couple of these and I'm, <clears throat> I'm just going to punch out couple of circle pieces and you want some twine to wind your to close your coin envelope <clears throat> so I'm just going to punch out I might punch out four <clears throat> so I can <clears throat> excuse me to uh, seal the back part of the bread so what I'll do now here, I'm going to <clears throat> I'll glue that side. I've had a really dry cough for about two weeks and it's really, really frustrating. And for some reason, it always seems to happen when I'm talking to somebody <clears throat> or I'm in the queue or I'm doing a video or when I'm in bed and waking up my poor husband. <laughs> but it's slowly starting to uh, go away. So now that's sealed off, I'm going to... <clears throat> so please excuse me if I tend to cough a little bit. Uh, so now I'm gonna grab one of these. I'll not just show where I'm gonna place them. So I'm just gonna try and place them in the center as best I can, um, near where, on top of the part where the fold is. <clears throat> I've got my piercing tool. I'll start with the top first. I'm just going to open this up. Just press that down. Or you can use a pin if you have a pin. <clears throat> it's just something that you could um, quite a hole so that you could get your brad in. So I'm just going to press that in. And this is why I punched out another circle. I wanted to cover the back of that. <clears throat> so you can do that and just glue that down and seal that off if you wanted to. You can leave that. I'll just leave that for now. And then I'm going to go on this side and just line that one up as best I can with that one. You can use a pencil to create and mark it, <clears throat> mark it where you want it. So I've just done that. So you just decide where you want your top or your bottom. <clears throat> so 
I'll just use this one and I'm just going to glue this down. And then you just want some string. <clears throat> I'll just use my crochet string here. And then I also punched out a couple of little hearts just to finish off the little end bit of the uh, string. You can do that. <clears throat> I'm just going to lift this up a little bit. Just wind that at the back and just tuck that end inside. And just wind that around a couple of times. Bring it down here. Go up. <clears throat> and there is my coin envelope, which is the same as this one. And my envelopes for the three by four insert sizes. <clears throat> we have the other one. So that's all done. And then this will also fit a three by four size as well. So <clears throat> I just thought I'd share with you on how to make these uh, envelopes for three by four size inserts with a six by six paper using the We Are Memory Keepers envelope punch board. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this step-by-step uh, -step, uh, how-to video on how to make these envelopes. And I apologize for my little, little coughing fit. Um, I hope I'll see you again in my next video. Bye for now.